2008, a gentleman in um, in Utah had had built a car wash with a system where the water that pours on the roof, he would use that water to wash cars. And so he did get fined, and he had to tear down his business. So the government is actually saying, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Car Wash Man. You've kind of figured out a way to get around from paying for water bills. Yeah. All right, so um, where were we? We were talking about how the Constitution is spiraling the drain. We're talking about how your bath water is spiraling the drain. And we're talking about how rainwater can't spiral the drain off your roof. I would say the theme of this show is spiraling the drain. So why don't we complete that and um, go to my next topic. I, I've been out on the town with you before. Let's be full full disclosure. But there's something I did not know. And um, tell tell our listeners about this. How you're a magnet for really hot lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't with me when that didn't happen when we were together, did it? No, no, no. But I've heard. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So this don't worry. A lot of this is not going to make it into the show. So don't worry. Yes, I got that. Yes. Hey, when are we going to go out again then? <laughs> so that I can make all the, the women come to me. That will never happen with me in the room. Never, ever. Oh, really? Yes. I'm going to take you up on your challenge, and I will bring a box of Kleenex. Wait, is this, for me to, is this for me to cry into, or are you trying to imply that this is what I should go home with? <laughs> for you to cry into. Oh, okay. Yes. I am like a flame... To moths. You so, are like a moth to flames. It's no, I'm the flame to the no, moth. Right. It's true. I can't. I can't disagree with that. Yes. <laughs> Get your moth and flame correct. No, I'm the flame. You're the moth. No, no. no. <laughs> All right. Another topic. Uh, what can we talk about? Um, I actually want people to go out there and to get video footage of their congressmen saying. Um, I, I want to repeal or I will work to repeal Obamacare because within um, next week, I believe, is when they're going to be doing that. So we want to get as many people on video saying it as possible. So we should all be video journalists, um, just, yes. like, just like Breitbart compelled us to do. And this would be the perfect project to uphold the principles of Andrew Breitbart and get out your iPhone, go visit your congressman. And get them to. And tomorrow, tomorrow, your congressman's going to be outside. It's July the fourth. Oh yeah, they'll they'll be um, they'll be kissing hot dogs and shaking babies. Uh, yeah. So if you run into your congressman, what would you like people to say? I mean, first of all, be respectful. Yes, be respectful. I want people to ask their congressman what they felt about the Supreme Court decision and then to tell us if they are willing to repeal, work to repeal Obamacare. I'm going to give these congressmen a chance to defend themselves by passing our litmus test. And if they don't pass the litmus test, that only means they don't stand for the people, they stand for themselves, they stand for their own personal power, and because they have been eaten up by the political machine, we can no longer stand behind them, and we will no longer hold them up as Tea Party leaders. One of these... Um, one of these congressmen, he said, you must be pragmatic and principled. The idea that our congressmen are carrying around D.C. so they can sacrifice us a little bit as long as they appear to be principled. I, have the, perfect, I have the perfect party symbol for the, the principled pragmatist. It's a stoic man with his fist up on a weather vane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fantastic. All right, we, we're, we're entering phase four of your tub experience. Well, you know what? Probably after this, you might have lots of requests for people to turn your 99-second radio show into a 99-second video show. But you've already interviewed me, so... No, no, no. 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 It wouldn't be the 99-second. It would be the 99-cent video show. <laughs> That's fantastic. A dollar of you. Now, who can I get? Who can you? Will Herman Cain do that? <laughs> you know what? I can't. I'll split it with you. List of people. I'll split and, it with uh, you. <laughs> no. 
These would not be money makers. <laughs> oh, you don't. Wait, wait, what, what happened? I thought you were a magnet for all these types out uh, when you're trolling in DC. Um, go out there and think what big names would be like. Everybody would like to pay ninety nine cents to see them. Helen Thomas. I mean, I'm talking about politics. Helen Thomas. <laughs> I'm talking about people I can reach. Helen Thomas? <laughs> I can't reach. Really no. I think that would be a big moneymaker. I think it would be. You really a, think so? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. All right. How about. Now I'm sitting in the sun. How about. How about Pelosi? For a 95 year old lady, Nancy Pelosi's not that bad looking. Everybody agrees when you have. Hundreds of thousands of dollars to put into work, you know. Then you're gonna you're gonna have to look at that underneath. Oh, garbage truck. Perfect. Sorry about that. I mentioned yeah. I mentioned Pelosi and the garbage truck shows up. I know. I can't. I really can't. Uh, I have no comment on Nancy Pelosi in a bath and being a 94 or five year old woman. Can she take baths? Because I plastic plastic floats, doesn't it? <laughs> I think some of what she's got might actually melt off in water. But will it submerge? Like, in other words, will we see, like, like parts of her floating and other parts sinking to the bottom? She's a combination of sinkers and floaters. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so since this was called Spiraling the Drain Show, we have hit rock bottom. Yes, we have. Last question. Are tears your own property or does that fall under the, the property of the municipality? I think you cannot collect tears in a cistern. It's unlawful. Don't say cistern anymore. <laughs> Why? I don't know. You cannot collect tears in a rain barrel. <laughs> I like That rain. should be a song, by the way. Like a country song. You can't collect my tears in a rain barrel. <laughs> I'm going to call Chris Cassone right away. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Say goodnight, Tiffany. <laughs> goodnight, Tiffany.